Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to guide you how you can use an amazing tool called SmartSuite. SmartSuite is a huge competitor comparing to Monday.com, ClickUp, Asana and others. And SmartSuite is a really effective tool. So I think you will like it and enjoy it. So if you're starting out, you will have a link down below in the description. And when you're going to click here, you will get it right here. So the first thing you want to do is you just click sign up for free. And here you can add an email. So for this tutorial, I'm going to use a temporary email and we're going to create the whole lists and tasks together. So I will add an email right here. Press continue. Now I'm going to get a verification. One, two, zero, four. And now we're going to add the workspace name. So I'm going to name it YouTube channel. I'm going to add first name, last name and password. I agree and press continue. Now uh, this will help us personalize our workspace. So I'm going to choose project management. So because that's what I'm going to use and I will leave it like that. Press continue. And let's just wait until it loads. And now what you can do, you can easily invite team members. So we just add an email here. like this and you have option to choose it as solution creator uh, can create and manage solution workspace administrator can manage user solutions and all available system resources or general user can create and edit records invite one member welcome to smart suite and here we are so what we can actually find here now on the bottom right you can easily uh, text with someone then you would have a home page here. You can see the member directory on the top where you can invite members in my team, start items that you would have, your work. In your work, you would find all the tasks here. You can of course like add directly a task here, but we are not going to do it yet here. We are going to do it directly in our project. And you can have notification center, what is actually happening and where. Okay, so then on the left side, you're going to have uh, the workspaces and resources that you can use as how to videos community academy. So I'm going to have a, a workspace and I'm going to create a new one. And you have option to start with the template when you would click on it and you would find plenty of templates here like business operations. Let's say you're going to find sales. And then what you can do is you can simply click sell CRM and I'm going to click use template. Now we will go step by step from the scratch. So I just want to show you how we can use it here. So as we can see, we have the account summary here where you can have uh, the account customer and then you can easily switch between the contacts here, opportunities, So that's something you can have. And then sales resources. So this is how we can use the template. This is just like the template showcase, but let's go back and let's create an add new solution and start from scratch. New solution is going to get called, let's say a YouTube channel. And you can have the solution color, solution icon, and then you can find also the automations, but we will look at it later. So here we have what we can easily add a new app. This is our first like a list that we have. This is the grid view report that we have. Then you have also option to change the grid view to let's say a card or Kanban view. 
or a timeline calendar. So here you will find it all on the top left timeline view. So now when you're going to click grid, let's just add a new record. A new record is like a new task, let's say. So let's say this is going to be a YouTube video. When I have the YouTube video, this is going to get called YouTube business video. And now what you can do, you can easily open the record and you can see uh, the YouTube video here, description. You can have it assigned to status, due date, priority. You can directly edit everything here, what you can actually edit when you're here. So I can change the priority. So like, let's say hi. Status, well, let's say in process. And what I can do is to simply add a new field. So these are all the field types that you can add to SmartSuite. So I'm going to click explore all field types. And what, do you, what I can create here. I can simply add a text. I can have the single select. Uh, let's say that's something that we created. Uh, how, like if it's going to be to do in progress, etc. So I can have like single select here. And there's the same thing that we have here, right? Then I can choose, choose a date, a number, a time, a date range. So let's say for date range. And we can change the display format. I can click add a field and I can simply switch like date range. Done. I can choose simply due date. Done. Then I can add a simply new field and you have option also add a currency. So let's say that for the YouTube video, I'm going to have expenses. And here I'm going to have display format like this, and I'm not going to choose dollars. I'm going to choose Euro. Precision. Okay. Two decimals. And then, um, you can add a field. So I can simply choose here and write 1000 Euro. Here it's going to be 500 Euro. Okay. That's really good. Now when I click add new field, I can add also a new field. So you have something like address here or email, a phone number. So let's say address when it's going to uh, record the video. I can also include map display or disable it. I would click add a field. Now I can then I can easily write here a street, optional city, state, postal code country, click done. I can add another field and that field can be called, let's say a link. So link would be in my case, a YouTube link in which people are like myself, I can add directly the link that I'm going to create, right? So that's what I can do. Now what I can have even further is to simply choose further and go with, let's say files and manages. So I can files and images and right here, uh, like, let's say if I have a YouTube thumbnail. Then I can add a new again field and you have collaboration like rating here, a vote, a tag. So this is pretty straightforward. I believe what you can do here. You can even add an email address, a date range, a time. When we go further, you can have the project essentials as a due date duration. So time tracking log. So we can click here time tracking. 
So uh, display format, you can, can change that and add a field. So when it's loading right now, I can add a different one. I can add more advanced. So you have options even like signature, sub items, a formula, color picker, IP address, roll up. So these are, if you want me guys, I can create like complete new tutorial on all of just the advanced tools. So I'm going to click sub items and sub items add a field. So here I can simply click and add a sub item. So let's say there is going to be a YouTube thumbnail, click add and I can add a new item which is going to get called YouTube description. Click add. So now right now I have my own uh, like template uh, sub items here. You can easily move it. You can also add a time tracking log. So you can type hours or minutes. So let's say 10, like two hours. And I can add a time and directly you will see the time tracking log, how much time you actually mm, were working on your task. I can add a new field even and add like even if you want the record ID, lookup, count, uh, checklist, duration. So you can have like multiple ideas what you can do here. And even yes or no. So if you need something more explained from these, field types, let me down below in the comments. These are the basics, what you can learn and how you can use it. Now, what I would also recommend is like the files and images. I can add a YouTube link. So then also we have options to filter it. You can group it. Then you can spotlight, row size, find or share the view. That's all what you can do here. Now, then we have option to switch between the grid view and others. And also what I wanted to show you, you can easily create a new app. This is like a new a view. And let's say this is going to be a grid view report. But this one, let's say what we can have here is a Kanban. So I can switch between these two and it's automatically going to be uh, on Kanban. So you're going to have a plenty of options here. So if app two, app, app one, app two, you can of course like rename it. And of course, when I have the grid view, I can have the card view, which are just the items uh, that you can have. Then you have option to not card view, but Kanban view. In Kanban view, you're going to have the column grouping, but let's say a priority or you can change the by status. So you see the backlog, YouTube video, ready for view or complete. And then another really interesting thing what you can do is you're going to find the fields to display. You can click on it and you can easily uh, select the fields and just remove them. That I will just have my task here in my Kanban view. And that's it. So this is something that you can do pretty straightforward and pretty easy. I'm going to, let's say this is going to be a, YouTube videos. And this one would be called YouTube data, I don't know. So you can even rename these. Now when you have it, I'm going to click on the YouTube videos here. And here I would simply like, let's say, choose the Kanban view to calendar. In a calendar, uh, you can choose the data fields, due date, date range. So these what I can add here in data fields and you're gonna have them in your calendar. And you can simply switch between the month view, year view, list view. 
when you actually have work. So next to the calendar view, you're going to have timeline view. And let's say we want to have the due date and date range. Here you would find uh, the date range here. So that's pretty cool what you can do. Then you have the option to see the map. In map or when you see the location, you need to choose the address. And then you would find them, find them directly on the map. So that's another thing what you can do. And the last thing is a chart. In chart, if I'm going to have the data, you have option to use a bubble chart, a column, a line, a pie even. Right, and you can really play around it as much as you want with chart total expenses. And you can like really choose which one you want. This works similar to Excel or Google Sheets that you have that you can like choose <clears throat> uh, the area chart here and like the chart view. <clears throat> so this is pretty much it how it works. And this is how we can use the views. So when I go back even to my grid view and now you can feel to display, I'm going to display everything. I can simply go here and I can also that you can like click here in summary. So we got always option to have like expenses here and you're going to have the records and on bottom of the screen, you're going to find summary. So you can have like empty field, percent field, percent empty sum, right? It's going to uh, create a function for you. So this is also really interesting what you can do here and how we can use it. So standard deviation range, field empty, lowest, median, etc. So that's pretty much it, what you can do here. Now I can simply click on add a new field and even explore all the fields that I would like to use. And use like formula. And again, I can select a field, I can add a plus here, or I can change to minus. I can choose the advanced editor and simply choose a field here or operators in functions. So here you would find all the functions and everything what you need in formula. Of course, you can even add things like signature. And you can add a signature if you want it. So that's also the option. And this is pretty much it how you can use the smart suite. So I don't know what else to show you guys. Let me down below in the comments if you like to go to something deeper. Definitely check all the templates that you can find here as like project request sell CRM that can be pretty effective so that's pretty much it thank you very much guys for watching and i hope you have a great day and goodbye see ya